up a season, the season for you to fish a corner. I'm gonna see if I got any real folk in the house. Folk coming to you asking advice regarding the same kind of problem you going through. God bless you, Ark Online. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we choose to rejoice and be glad in it. We are grateful to be able to come into your presence another time for us to seek the face of the Lord. And in hours such as which we live, we need God in our lives. We need God uh, moving. There are so many individuals who are struggling in so many ways, and it is time for us. It is the time for us to begin to seek the face of God. You know what he says in Chronicles. He says, if my people which are called by my name would humble themselves, uh, turn from their wicked ways, I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. And so brothers and sisters, this is the time. This is the time that we, we must begin to seek the face of God, that he would lead us, he would direct us, that he would lift us and set his people free. So tonight, we are going to be praying for the oppressed, those who are struggling, those who have been fighting, those who have felt as though they were burdened and weighed down. We're believing God for you tonight. We're believing that God is going to set you free. He's going to lift the weights off of your life and allow you to begin to move towards your purpose and your calling. So I want you to come on in the room. And as you come in the room, go ahead, type in a comment down at the bottom. Let us know that you are with us. Hello. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Uh, whatever warm greeting, gracious greeting, present, I'm present, uh, that you can share. Do that. Uh, do that, and let's just get ready to seek the face of the Lord. As you come in, I'm going to also ask after you uh, type in a comment, a greeting, or of sort, if you will, um, just click on share. Click on share. There are some individuals who you know and I know that, that needs prayer in this hour. They need something from the Lord. They're struggling. They're going through. They can't seem to get a break. Uh, and, and that's what we want to uh, be praying about, that God will break them free, that he will give them that release. Go ahead, click on share, send it directly to them. You can share it to your page. However you are, want to share it, we just ask if you will share uh, this time of prayer with them. And let's believe God tonight. Let's believe God. Now, as we are talking, as we are praying uh, something very well may be said that will encourage you, inspire you, and uh, bless you. And I would encourage you that at that time that you just go ahead, post a comment, or uh, click on emoji, or, you know, you can, the emojis are down there, the thumbs up, the heart, whatever. You can uh, just click on that and just let us know that what is being said is blessing you. What is being said is helping you. Now, listen, I, I don't want this to be one sided. I need your help tonight. I need your help as we uh, are praying for you. That's why we're here. We're praying for you. And, and, and based upon the word of God is when we believe God, Matthew 18 and 19, come in the spirit of agreement that God will move on our behalf and he will answer the prayer. So here's what I want. Whatever your prayer request is, I want you to put it out there. Put it out there in the comment field. We're looking for those prayer requests because as they come up, we're going to respond. So if you see somebody put a name up, a situation up, just respond to that in the spirit of agreement. And we all believe God and we all pray together. We need that. We need one another. We need to be able to encourage one another, to uplift one another. 
I will tell you, I, I had some other individuals tell me that they were watching our Bible study the other night and all of a sudden they got kicked off. Listen, this thing is so significant. If you get kicked off, come on back in. We are still rolling. We are still going because we know, we understand that the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. So I need you to be in agreement with me. We just believe God. Share, share, click on uh, share and get this out. There are individuals that you may uh, see that's posting comments that I may not see. Go ahead, share the, their comments on here so that we can make sure we call their name out before the Lord. We don't want to miss anything, and we certainly don't want to miss anybody. I We have put the word out uh, through Facebook uh, earlier today, and there were a number of individuals uh, uh, who wanted us to pray in regards uh, to their situation. And so we intend to call their name out and believe God for them. But just believe God with us, pray with us, but more importantly, let's connect tonight so that we are a blessing to one another. I just want to uh, look at the word oppressed because I, I just believe that there are a number of individuals who feel oppressed. Let's look at what the word oppress means. When we talk about being oppressed, it, it means to load or burden with unreasonable imposition. You're imposing. Someone is imposing upon you. And then they're laying a lot of weight, a lot of burdens. To treat unjust uh, with unjust severity, rigor, or hardship. And we've seen that. We've seen it as it relates to uh, the social injustice, racial profiling, cl uh, classism, uh, poverty, all of this that has been going on. And it is it is up to the church to take on the responsibility to say, you know what, we are going to believe God. We're not just going to sit back and look at the news as spectators. We're not just going to look at social media and see what's going on and not be engaged. It is the time for the church to stand up and say, we believe God, and therefore we are standing up on behalf of those who may not be able to stand up for themselves, those who feel isolated, marginalized, segregated. I, I, we want to believe God for them because we understand that there is power and calling on the name of the Lord. Do I have a witness out there that you acknowledge that there is something significant about when the church begins to call on the Lord and believe God to move on their behalf? So I want you to understand that the, the oppression, when you look at uh, the disproportionate uh, disproportionality as it relates to uh, jobs, income, health, Health care, all of these things come as a result of a people being oppressed. As families are oppressed with uh, uh, generational curses, uh, lifestyles, behaviors, conducts being passed down from one generation to the next. And the weight of all of this rests on one generation after another at some point. At some point, the church has to stand up and say, enough is enough. We're going to believe God. We're going to believe God. We're not just going to take this sitting down. We're not just going to shout this out. No, we are going to pray. We're going to believe God and we're going to become en engaged. Notice what Jesus said in his word. He says, I want you to come unto me in Matthew eleven twenty-eight. 28. All you who are weary and burdened. And he says, I will give you rest. The Lord wants you to have rest. He wants you to have peace. He wants you not to be walking around so weighted down, so burdened down. You can't lift your head. You're discouraged. You're, you've given up. You, you have resolved within yourself. You're never going to get out of that house. You're never going to get out of that bad relationship. You'll never get past that deadbeat job. You're going to be stuck in this place where you are for the rest of your life. You are, my brothers and sisters, 
the definition of oppressed. You have this burden and this burden is on your heart and in your mind to the degree it has formed into a stronghold. In other words, you've locked this in your mind and it doesn't matter if someone comes along and says it can be different from you for you. You have just embraced the idea that it'll never get any better. But I'm here to tell you the devil is a liar. The devil is a a liar. He wants you to think that you'll never get better. He wants you to think that you're going to die with this sickness and this condition. He wants you to think that you will always live a life of being broke, busted, and disgusted. He wants you to think that you can never break free. But the devil, I wish I had somebody that understood the devil is a liar. You and I must take authority within our own mind and begin to believe that God came to bless me. God came so that I can be victorious. God came to set the captive free. And I'm here to tell you, he, li he loves you too much for you to stay in bondage. All you have to do is acknowledge, acknowledge he's there. He's ready and he's able and believe for some, the spirit of heaviness, the spirit of oppression, the spirit of despair, discouragement has swooped in while you were unaware and cradled you and caused you to feel sorry for yourself. Looking at others as being better than you and you never being able to reach that level or reach that status. You're always looking down and negatively on yourself. That's nothing but a trick of the enemy. Bishop, you don't understand. I've had some failures in my life. You tell me somebody that has not had failures, and I will tell you somebody that does not know about the prevailing hand of God in their life. It's when you've fallen. It is when you've been tripped up. It's when things have gone contrary and you reached up to God when God was reaching out to you and you find out how big, how great, and how awesome God is because you discover he is able to reach way down and lift you to heights you never could. Would imagine I know I got somebody that knows what I'm talking about what it's like to feel as though that you can never rise up and then all of a sudden God gives you a glimmer of hope and says to you it's possible I need everybody to type in those words right now it's possible it's possible it's possible for you to rise up out of the ashes it is possible for you to come back as it were from the dead it is possible for your life can, to be turned right side up it is possible for you get out for you to get out of the trenches for you to get out of the pit for you to get out of this place of heaviness and despair and I'm here to tell you you don't need that uh, uh, that person that you think you need. God says, I'm right here. I'm right here. I just need you to trust me. Come on. Somebody type in. It's possible. It is possible. The Bible says all things are possible to them that believe. The problem is when God brings opportunity by, we are so weighted emotionally. We're so consumed with what we are feeling and what we're going through, we can't even see that God is reaching out to us with an opportunity to turn things around in our lives. Oh, but I want you to know today, I want you to know today that God is going to get your attention. He is going to shake your spirit, be it by dreams or vision or something just stirring all of a sudden and out of the blue passion. God is saying to you in that moment, now is your time for you to rise up out of the ashes. I'm here to tell you, I told somebody not too long ago, you, you've given up, you've frustrated because of the things that have gone wrong. I need you to understand, don't die until you're dead. 
Are you listening to me? Don't die until you're dead. The doctor may have given you a bad diagnosis, but don't die until you're dead. As long as you have breath in your body, resolve within yourself that you're going to press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling because it's possible. It's possible for this thing to turn around. So I, I just, I want to pray for you. I want to believe God for you. Whatever it is, you're struggling with it, whatever it is you're going through, let's connect tonight. Let's connect. I, I, I've got some people that are helping me. Let's connect. Put your prayer requests out, whatever it is. Put it out there, and we're going to pray. You want us to pray for your children you want us to pray for your home, pray for your job situation, pray for your spouse. Maybe you did get a bad diagnosis. Maybe you are dealing with some financial challenges. Put those prayer requests out there. We want to believe God with you. We want to encourage you so that you believe as well that God is able. You say, Bishop, my faith is weak. That's okay. Let us believe God for you. I just said something important. Let us believe God for you. I believe he's able to help you. I believe he's able to touch you. I believe that he's able to meet your need right now, wherever you are. Come on, come on. Get that prayer request out there. Start entering that prayer request and let's believe God. Because I believe that he is ready to set the captive feet free. I believe that he is ready to break the shackles off of your life and liberate your soul and make the devil out of a liar in your life. The devil said it'll never happen, but the devil is a liar. The devil said this is how it's always going to be, but you know this is a lie from the pit of hell. But we believe God. We believe God to break and destroy any yoke. Any yoke. Are y'all listening to me? Any yoke. Whatever it is, God can do it. He can do it right now. So I want you to believe God with me. Let's get these prayer requests out there. I see some of the prayer requests coming in now. Like I said, I have some prayer requests that were presented to me earlier. And we're going to just believe God for these individuals. Uh, I will tell you about uh, a lady on the job today. She was working and all of a sudden she collapsed. And, uh, and I ran up when I was uh, praying as they were working on her. And then uh, I, I saw, okay, they, had, you know, she was coming too. So I went back down to my desk and a few minutes later I got word that they almost lost her and they had to use the defibrillator. Her name is Jeanette. Her name is Jeanette. As far as I know, Janet, I'm sorry. Her name is Janet. Uh, as far as I know, she is re in recovery, but I want you all to lift her up in prayer. Janet, J-A-N-E-T, J-A-N-E-T, lift up Jeanette. I'm going to call some other names out, but I see some names that are being lifted here. Uh, and as these names are called out, I need you all to type them in. Even though somebody else typed them, I need you to retype those names. That is you showing that you are in the spirit of agreement with and for these individuals. Let's pray, church. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we bless and we honor, we magnify your name because you alone are worthy of all of the praise. I thank you, Lord, because there is nothing too hard for you. You are able to heal the sick. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are able to bring about deliverance in the lives of your people. So, God, as we prepare to present these souls, these individuals, these situations under you, I pray now that you would wash us and sanctify us and make us holy as we seek an audience with you, oh God. There are those who are burdened, who are in trouble, but God, we come together in the spirit of agreement, but we need you to wash us so that there's nothing standing in the way from our prayers coming up before you so that lives can be saved and souls can be saved, oh God, and people can be delivered from the spirit of oppression in the name 
of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, God, move by your spirit, move. We lift up Janet tonight in the name of Jesus, and we ask that you touch her body from the crown of her head down to the sole of her feet. Whatever is going on, Lord, we do not know the condition or the diagnosis, but I thank you, Lord, because with one word, you can bring about a healing and deliverance in her body. With one word, God, from the crown of her head down to the sole of her feet, you can bring about absolute and complete deliverance. Lord, we lift up our daughter, Jewel, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray now that you begin to move right where she is. Whatever it is, God, whatever it is that she's struggling with, whatever it is she's going through, Lord, I pray that you be bigger. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Be bigger, God, in the name of Jesus. Show yourself in such a definitive way, God, that she must acknowledge your presence, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you because you're able to turn. You're able to turn, oh God. Turn, God, the hearts of your, our sons and our daughters. Turn them, oh God, that they will look unto you and begin to cry out to you in desperation Timothy Harper right now wherever he is God reach into the core of his innermost being until he bows his knees and lift up his hands and say yes to your will and to your way I thank you Lord because it doesn't matter how far down we go you are able to lift us it doesn't matter the struggles that we have to deal with you are able to bring about a deliverance like no one else I thank you Lord because you can break the bands of the oppressor you can break the destroy the yokes of our bondage in the name of Jesus we lift up Aunt Gladys right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I know that you are a restorer. You are able to put the pieces back together again. You are able, God, to bring about soundness and wholeness. You, oh God, are able to move. And so we lift her up to you right now in the name of Jesus. Send your power right where she is. Step into the room, God, and defy the wisdom of the doctors. Oh God, I thank you. I thank you because you're able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think. Now, God, we ask you to bless, oh God, the Lee family, whatever their struggle may be, whatever their challenge may be. I thank you, Lord, because you are the God of all comfort and there is nothing, absolutely nothing that is too hard for you. Step in God and rebuke the devil on every side. Rebuke his activity in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we ask you even now, even now, we ask you, oh God, to lift up Karama Holland, Karama Holland, whatever is going on, God, we know that you are a healer. We know that you are a way maker. We know that you are a deliverer. We know that you are a strong tower. And so we lift up this soul to you right now in the name of Jesus. And God asks you to make yourself evident in that individual's life. God, we lift up Delilah Harper right now. I thank you, Lord, because you are able to open up doors that no man can close. And you able to shut doors that no man can open father we ask right now as she is praying seeking prayer for a career lord i pray for divine favor hallelujah right now in the name of jesus begin to order her steps navigate her path cause her to have divine connections with that individual that you have for her to be aligned with Lord, put her mind, put somebody, uh, her name in somebody's mouth. Put her name and her resume right in front of the individual that you want.
want her to be connected to. I thank you, God, because you're able to connect pieces. I thank you, God, because you're the great choreographer that is able to amass and assemble according to your divine will and purpose. God, we believe you tonight. We trust you. We are asking you, God, to move, to move, to move, Lord Jesus, to move. Somebody needs a deliverance. Somebody needs your help, Lord. We ask you to move on behalf of Sister Anita White in the name of Jesus. Lord, you know the enormity of all that she is going through as it relates to her family, as it relates to school, as it relates to her job. But God, I thank you because in the worst of it all, in the midst of feeling overwhelmed, you can give us focus. You can give us clarity. You can give us strength. You can give us stability. So, God, we lift up our sister to you right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. I ask your help and your blessings on your people as they are in transition. Lord, some moving in their career, some moving in their ministry, some moving in their calling. Oh God, and they're not sure, but they know, they feel and sense your pull and your tug. First and foremost, God, give them peace. Give them clarity so that they understand, Lord, that you are the one that's pulling them out and just like you call Abraham out from what he was used to God you will lead and as you lead you will provide thank you Jesus as you lead God you will provide as you lead God you will provide as you lead God you will provide we trust you we trust you right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I lift up now my cousin Amber right now in the name of Jesus with all of the health conditions, uh, with all of the ventures, with trying to bring in foster children, trying to attend to a, a graduating daughter. I thank you, God, because you are able to help those who feel overwhelmed to have clarity. But God, more in Importantly, I ask you to touch her body from the crown of her head down to the sole of her feet. Every diagnosis, we rebuke it now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I believe that we are still able to be healed by your miraculous hand. I still believe that you are a healer. I still believe that you are a miracle worker. So God, move right now. Move right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord. For those who feel trapped and ensnared by life's cha challenges, by the changes of life, God, I pray right now, you give them peace and give them strength. Cause them to know based upon your word in Psalms 9 and 9 that God, you are are a refuge for those that are oppressed. God, so we cast all of our cares upon you according to 1 Peter 5 and 7 because you, we know that you care for us. Deliver us, oh God, from our oppressor. Deliver us, oh God, from the ones that plot and scheme behind our back in an effort to oppress us as your sons and daughters. You know the things that you have called us to. You know the dreams, the visions, and goals that you have put in us. And God, we have allowed ourselves to be consumed with a lot of stuff, distracted and pulled away. Father, we repent right now in the name name of Jesus we repent God for allowing ourselves to get consumed with stuff that does not even matter stuff that's not even important oh God in the name of Jesus we ask you God oh God turn our hearts turn our minds back toward you so that God we can be free from the oppression that has been brought on God because of 
of our distraction. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, there are those, there are those who are oppressed, oppressed with the spirit of poverty, oppressed, God, with sickness and disease, oppressed, oppressed, Lord, with stagnation, unable to move, uh, indifference, lackadaisical. Oh, God, there are those that are depressed, those that are oppressed with the spirit of heaviness and discouragement. Oh, God, the, God, uh, the mental anxiety, the mental weariness, those that are oppressed with fear, those who are oppressed with generational curses, but God in the name of Jesus, we rebuke every work of the devil right now in the name of Jesus the devil is a liar the devil is a liar we have the victory God destroy the yoke of bondage that's on the lives of your, of your children, be a refuge refuge, oh God, uh, from the oppressor. Be that safe place that your people can run to in the name of Jesus, in the name. Rebuke the devil on every side. Rebuke the spirit of the enemy that weighs heavily, that keeps your people from being able to rest well at night. Keep your people to, from being able to have peace in their mind. Oh my God, uh, we rebuke every spirit of affliction and sorrow and anything that attempts to bring us low in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus oh God we look to you now we ask you don't leave us don't leave us to our oppressor no no God don't leave us to our oppressor but deliver Lord deliver God deliver God we seek to serve you we seek to do your will Lord deliver right now in the name of Jesus Lord we rebuke the voice of the oppressor the one that whispers in our ear the one that talks to us in the middle of the night the one that shakes their finger and wags their head Lord we rebuke the uh, voice of the oppressor right now and command it to be quiet in the name of Jesus. Be still. We bind your act right now in the name of Jesus you will not burden the people of God you will not oppress the people of God we shake off the yoke of bondage we shake loose from the heaviness of despair and we refuse to be held hostage another day God in the name of Jesus oh God we refuse to allow the oppressor to take our inheritance we refuse Refuse to allow the oppressor to rob us of that that you have called us to. Oh God, send help right now. Send, send help right now. Send, send help. God, I believe you. I trust you. Send help right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Send help to that pastor who does not know how they're going to take the next step. Send help, God, to that mother, to that father that does not know what to do in regard to that son or that daughter. Send help, God, to that single parent that is trying to make life work, trying to come up out of the ashes. Lord, send help, send help, send help to the one that has suffered loss, lost a relationship lost a family member lost a job oh my god lost their help lost their health lost their finances oh god I thank you because you are a restorer you restore my soul you restore god you are able to restore life you are able to restore soundness so God we ask you now in the name of Jesus send a fresh wind 
Send a fresh wind, God. Send a fresh wind. Somebody needs a wind and a shaking, just like you did with Peter when he was in jail. When Paul was in jail and they were in stocks and bonds, God just sent a shaking. And be, when the shaking took place, oh God, the shackles had to fall off. So God, in the name of Jesus, shake some stuff up. Shake it up in our houses. Shake it up in our ministries. Shake it up in our bodies. Shake it up in our minds. Shake it up on the job until God, the oppression is broken in the name of Jesus. Break it up, 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 God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we lift up every one of these souls. We lift up every one of these souls. We lift them up in the name of Jesus. Strip all power of the spirit of the enemy, of the spirit of the oppressor. Strip it all the way down. Strip it all the way down, God. Strip it all the way down. Cause us to hear joy and gladness. Lift, oh God, the heavy burdens. Lighten the loads of your children, God, and break the hold of the oppressor. Make the way easier. You said, Lord, you said in your word, take your yoke upon you. For your yoke is easy and your burdens are like Father now in the name of Jesus. Do it, God. Hallelujah. 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 For the one that struggles to lift their head, do it, God. For the one who cries day and night, behind closed doors and does the best they know how to do to put a good face on, a good front on God. Lift the burden. Lift the burden. Whether they need a job, whether they need provision, whether they need healing in the body, break the bangs of the enemy. Destroy the yoke of oppression. Destroy the yoke of bondage. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If I got anybody that believes God with me right now, I want you just to begin to thank him. I need you to just begin to worship him and believe him. Thank him. Hallelujah. Like it's already done. Like he's moving by his spirit. Like a cloud, like the kind of glory is moving in that situation. And as he moves, oh God, your, your chains are getting all kinds of fractures and breaks in it. And it is starting to fall apart. Ah, God is ready to disintegrate somebody's burden. God is ready to destroy somebody's yoke. Oh, just begin to worship right now. Hallelujah. Just begin to believe God is loosing the bands. Oh God, loosing your bands from the wicked and causing his children to go free. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Our spirits are being lifted. Our minds are being lifted. God, give us new sight and new vision and new ideas in the name of Jesus. Oh, we bless you. Oh, send a refreshing right now. Hallelujah. Send a refreshing right now. We thank you, Lord. We bless your name. You're worthy. You're worthy, God. You are worthy. We give you glory. We give you glory. Thank you for touching, moving in that home. Thank you, Lord, for the one that is studying, trying to do better. You're about to give clarity. You're about to give them some fluidness in their writing. You're going to give them understanding and cause them to flow. <laughs> Hallelujah. You're getting ready to cause them to flow. Flow in their classwork. Flow in their administration. Flow in the work, even on the job. Give them a flow, a flow. That pastor, the minister, they're getting ready to step into a flow in the name of of Jesus move on behalf of your people right now 
I thank you, Lord, even for what you are doing with us in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I believe that the way will be made clear. I believe that provision will be there. I believe, God, that souls will be saved, lives will be changed, and people will be empowered. Father, I thank you. Glory to your name. Thank you, Lord, for the new season that you are ushering us into. Lord, add to the kingdom such as should be saved, not just those we can lay our eyes on who are standing in front of us. But Lord, I pray for an anointing that will enable us to not just go from city to city, but from state to state, from country to country, from continent to continent. Give us a word that will reach your people and turn the world upside down for your glory. Anoint us afresh. Add to us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, workers and laborers. You said, God, in your word, pray that the Lord of the harvest will send forth laborers. We ask you now, God, grant us laborers that we can reach the lost, that we can reach the oppressed, that we can reach the marginalized, those who feel as though, God, that they are in trouble just because of the color of their skin, those who feel as though they walk in fear, they drive in fear, they live in fear because of the oppression of the government, of the police, of the sheriff. God, in the name of Jesus, speak now. Give us a word, Lord. Give us an anointing for your people. A relevant word for right where they are. Here we are, God. We avail ourselves. Send forth laborers that we can reach the harvest you have called us to. We thank you for it. We believe you for it. Thank you for answered prayer. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you for answered prayer. In the name of Jesus, we count it done right now. Glory to God. We count it done. Glory to your name, Lord. We count it done by faith in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Heal every broken heart. I see it. I see it. Heal every broken heart. Every broken heart. Somebody just put that out there. Pastor Tab, put that out there. Heal every broken heart. Every church hurt. Some are oppressed because of church hurt. Some have broken hearts because of relationship, because of a loss of a job, a loss of a loved one. God put their hearts back together again because of failure, because of disappointment, whatever it is. Heal. Glory to your name. The broken heart. I thank you, Lord. You can do it. You can do it where there is no residue of a scar, no remnant of a scar. It's just God, a fainted memory that has become a testimony of your divine healing of the mind and of the broken heart. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' name, come on, everybody, everybody type in amen. Or it is so. Amen. It, that amen means it is so. It's a spirit of agreement. I need you to type it in. Come on. Come on. Type it in. Amen. 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 We believe God tonight. It is so. It shall be done. Glory to God. All that we've asked for, we didn't ask for naught. Ha, hallelujah. We ask because we believe God is bringing it to pass right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. I thank you. I thank you. Thank you so much for being on the prayer line with us. Listen. Listen to me. I, I need you. I need you. The Lord is moving upon us. We are going to new heights and new levels in the Lord. But we need you. We need your prayers. We need your prayers. We believe in this season that the Lord is not just calling us to the traditional brick and mortar. He is calling us to a new level of global ministry. 
and we want to be strategic in it. We've been online and we're grateful for what the Lord has allowed us to do and to accomplish. But we want to take it to a different level. But we need your help. I want to extend a special invitation to you. You're going to see Church 2.0. You're going to see the ARC relaunch. But I'm extending a special invitation to you right now. If you are interested in being a part of a team of believers to set forth in a work to reach the lost, to reach the broken, to reach the disenfranchised, the email address is on the screen right now, arconlineprayer at gmail. I need you to go out there and send me an email. Say, Bishop White, I hear you. I see what you're doing. We believe in it, and we want to be a part of it. We want to be a part. You, you, there are all kinds of ways to be a part, but if you're interested, you might just want to inquire. You may want to know more. Send me an email. Do not delay. Go ahead. ArcOnlinePrayer at gmail.com. I want you to send that email right now. Let's say you have a prayer request. Do it. Go to that same email, arconlineprayer at gmail.com. Send your prayer request. Maybe you have a testimony, a word of encouragement. Go out there. Or I need you to do this. I need you to do this. Arconlineprayer at gmail.com. Listen, I believe God is calling us forth in this hour and in this season. Now, if this time of prayer has blessed you in any way, I want you to consider sowing a seed. Whatever seed you feel like sowing that the Lord has laid upon your heart, $5, $10, 20 dollars 30 50 100 whatever the Lord lays upon your heart, I want you to sow. We've got to move. And in order to move, there's yet more equipment. We've got equipment that, you know, we're working through now. We've got to get even more equipment. So we need your help. We want to see God save souls and deliver and empower his people. So I need you to do that. So with the cash app C dollar sign N O L N tab, that is the address. Or if you want to sow a seed by way of PayPal, you can do that. PayPal me slash Nolan G white, whatever you can do. We're asking you to sow a seed because you believe in the work that is being done. Listen, I am trusting God for you. I am believing God for you. But until we meet again, I speak in and over your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I want you to be healed. I want you to be delivered. And I want you to be empowered. God bless you. We love you. Thank <laughs> you.